Hi everyone, I'm Charlene Habermeyer of Good Parenting Brighter Children, and this is Tidbits of Wisdom for Parents. Today we're going to talk about therapeutic grade essential oils. I've actually been using therapeutic grade essential oils since 2003. When I say therapeutic grade, I'm talking about that they have a healing quality to them. Okay, um, and the two biggest companies I think in the world are, uh, maybe not in the world, but definitely in the United States, is the Young Living and the doTERRA oils. These are both companies that sell therapeutic grade essential oils. Now, so what constitutes a therapeutic grade essential oil? Well, it's how the plant is grown, the type of soil that it's grown in. It can't have any pesticides or insecticides in the soil. Uh, the altitude that you're growing a particular plant, the uh, how you're feeding it, what you're feeding it, um, the soil conditions, the geographical uh, regions. But the most important thing is once you harvest that particular plant, that whatever it is, how are you turning it into an oil? It cannot come in contact with copper or aluminum, aluminum because it can cause issues with it. You can't put uh, synthetic, uh, synthetic things in with it that will adulterate it and that will change the oil. It has to be done in stainless steel with low temperatures and low pressure. And if you do those things, as well as all of the other things in the preparation of the soil and the plant, you're going to end up with a healing oil. Now, usually, now let me just say one thing about the Young Living and doTERRA. I use both of them. They're both equally excellent oils. They both have what is called the AFNAR score. That score is very difficult to get. It's a French score. It stands for the Association of French, French Normalization Organization Regulation. Huge. Now, they've actually shortened that now. However, <clears throat> that indicates that this is a therapeutic grade. It can be used to help heal the body. It also indicates that that oil, if you take it internally, it's not going to do any harm to you at all. You can put a few drops of it in water and you can drink it. Now, for instance, you cannot do that with Lang Lang that's like a synthetic. Okay, if you put that, it could kill you. Okay, but any of the oils from Young Living, any of the oils from doTERRA, and I don't have any preference. I use them both. I love them both. And some people say, well, don't you think one is stronger than the other? No, I do not. Okay, so whatever you're using, continue to use it. They're excellent. So how do you use oils? Well, you can put it on directly on the part that is hurting or ailing you, any type of a muscle that's sore. As I mentioned before, you can use it in the bathtub, or you can put it on the bottoms of the feet. The reason that they usually tell you to put it on the bottoms of the feet because the pores are 200 times larger on the bottoms of the feet than anywhere else in the body. Now, all these oils have teeny, teeny, tiny molecules. Okay, we have the molecular weight of water. That is a certain number. Anything higher over that number doesn't penetrate the skin. It stays on top of the skin. Anything lower than that, it will penetrate the skin, okay? And so... 60% of what you put on your skin gets penetrated into the bloodstream and then it gets filtered through the liver. Now, with an essential oil, because many times you're usually putting them on the bottom of the feet, those pores are 200 times larger, those, um, the molecular weight of those tiny little molecules on the oils are very tiny, and so you know, it's amazing of how they, they penetrate within seconds of going into the bloodstream and going to that part of the body that needs help. Now, they've taken essential oils and they've looked at them, and this is the part of Mother Nature which is so amazing to me. There are many components about an essential oil that is very similar to our blood in terms of hormones and enzymes and neurotransmitters, all of those different types of things. It's similar to our blood. Okay, and it's also um, very similar to the human cells and the tissues of the human cells. And because it's so similar, the body recognizes it recognizes it as something safe. The cell membrane recognizes it as something safe and it's able to go in and to do its work. All right, so oils are very powerful. If you are able to find a class, now I've taken several classes, but a lot of the classes now have been squelched, again, because the government has come in and just said you can't make any claims about oils. But the classes that I've taken and the books that I've purchased, they all give all of the research everything that has been done on every single one of these oils. So, um, whatever, I'm not making, I'm not selling you these oils, so I probably will make a few claims. First of all, 
peppermint oil. Peppermint oil is really good as an anti-inflammatory as, as well as wintergreen. So if you have an inflamed area of the body, you definitely would want to use like a wintergreen or peppermint. Peppermint is one of those oils that increases the effectiveness of an oil that you put on. So let's say, for instance, you put lemon oil on, and then you put, uh, or lavender oil on, uh, any, any oil on, and then you put peppermint on top of it, it's going to cause the, uh, the initial oil, the lemon or the lavender that you initially put on, to even strengthen in its potency because you put the peppermint over it. Okay, the combination of lavender and peppermint is amazing for headaches, okay? There's different pressure points on your head in the back of your head that you can put these oils on a few drops and massage them in and lay down. And, and I have problems with headaches. I've had problems with headaches ever since I was 11 years old. Those oils have been incredible to help me with some really, really severe headaches that I have had. The other thing is there's different compounds in an oil and that's one of the other reasons why you want to take all those aromatic compounds and just be so careful to maintain them and one of them is called sesquiterpenes. Sesquiterpenes will, when you put that oil on, it'll actually increase up to 28% of the oxygen that is found in the brain. The three oils that are really high in sesquiterpenes are cedarwood, um, cedarwood, sandalwood, and frankincense. So usually what I do, I take three drops of those oils and I mix it up and I will put those on directly on top of my head and I'll massage it in. Okay, so because I want that extra 28% of that oxygen in my brain. Also, those oils that are high in sesquiterpenes do pass the blood-brain barrier. Now, if you're going to have something that's going, the blood-brain barrier protects the brain from, you know, bad things getting to the brain, although there are certain bad things that can pass the blood-brain barrier. That's a tongue twister. One of them is mercury, okay? You don't want that. So, but those oils can pass the blood-brain barrier and those sesquiterpenes can help increase the amount of oxygen to the brain, which by the way, as I mentioned before, is extremely important. There's also oils that help with circulation. Now, if you have a son or a daughter or a spouse or whatever that has diabetes, what can happen is the circulation can be sluggish and it can be poor. So what you want to do is you want to use cypress oil and clove oil are both really, really good oils for to put on the bottoms of the feet to help with any kind of neuropathy. If they, you know, they're diabetic, oftentimes they end up with neuropathy, which is very painful. So that will help the circulation. Also, my sister, her son, um, several years ago had uh, childhood juvenile leukemia and he did have a bone marrow and usually with a bone marrow back when he had it done you know they get these sores in their mouth she put in cypress oil and within an hour all of those sores had completely disappeared so cypress is one that we definitely use in our family every day as well <clears throat> Um, let me see on some other ones. Um, oh, they did a really interesting, interesting study in Japan with lemon oil. They diffused it and they, with a bunch of college students and they found that there was 50% fewer airs and their scores obviously increased. They also used it with lavender and it was 20% fewer airs. So if you have a diffuser and your kids are learning the material that they need to learn for school or for a test or whatever it is, then diffuse lemon oil into the air, the lemon oil. Grapefruit oil is another great one that I love. It helps with cellulite. It also helps with um, detoxing and disinfecting something. Orange oil and lavender oil are both really good oils for um, helping you to sleep. Lavender oil is another good one for helping you to uh, lower um, blood pressure. It actually lowers blood pressure. I think those are about, I'm just going over a very few, but let me, what really is important is the books that I want to alert you to that you can go out and read. And again, if you can take a class, make sure that the people that you're taking the classes from really know about essential oils. Okay, this one is healing oils of the Bible. There's 12 oils that are mentioned in the Bible. Cypress is one of them. It talks about all of these healing oils and how they use them in biblical times with amazing results. Of course, they didn't have all the antibiotics and all the different things that we have today, but they used these and they were extraordinarily effective. This class was taught by Dr. David Stewart. I think he left Young Living and went to doTERRA when doTERRA was uh, building up. Um, that's another thing. Let me mention this again. If your lymphatic system, your lymphatic system is extremely important because that's where your whole immune system is and that's what keeps you well. So you want the lymphatic system to work and so this is your big toe, this is your second toe. If you um, 
massage this area in here and it's painful at all, use lemongrass. Uh, so if this is painful, use lemongrass and use myrtle oil. Now, a few years ago, doTERRA didn't have myrtle oil. Hopefully they do now because that combination of myrtle oil and lemongrass will help to open up the lymphatic system and help to keep you well. Okay, another class that I took is the chemistry of essential oils. This book is thick, okay? I have read it. It's amazing. I could pretty much talk for hours on the on the importance of essential oils. I'm only giving you a little tiny bit. If you can get through get this one, be sure and get this one. Now the next two one text two have been compiled by Gary Young with Young Living. Uh, essential oils integrating medical guide excellent book but my very time very favorite all-time book is this one essential oils this is the desk reference it goes through every single oil in young living all the single oils and all the blends it breaks them all down then with every single one it goes into what different types of ailments that it can help and it gives the research so you can take that research you can type it into google it will come up and if nothing else you can get a hold of the abstract so it will help you to understand what all the studies were behind these oils and how come they're so amazing and so helpful for all different kinds of health um, challenges that all of us come in contact with I hope you've enjoyed this um, what I would like to say to you in terms of a bonus thing is please comment in the section what is your experience with oils so the essential oils have taken off you know there's tons of people that buy doTERRA and Young Living oils there's tons of people out there selling them and so forth and so what have you learned what types of things have you experienced with essential oils that have impacted your life your children's life your health your wellness and so forth please comment and let me know and um, i haven't written a blog on essential oils i have referred to essential oils there was one thing a blog that i wrote on ways to relax i will put the link for that and also on the bath salts I, when I make my bath salts up, I put in probably 15 different essential oils into that bath salts, and it helps to with insomnia and every other um, aches and pains and anything that's hurting on your body. They're pretty incredible and amazing. So thank you for joining me, and I'll see you tomorrow.